Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. We are approaching the end of our stay here in City Skylines for now. And I realise that some of you would indeed like me to continue on with this series for a lot longer than I am planning at the moment. Unfortunately, I really do think we should be moving on. I think that uh, a break would be good. Uh, some people are getting a bit fed up with it, so if we do take a break, we can come back refreshed at some point in the future and we can have another go. Before we leave, I would like to look at the remaining two pieces of industry. We've extracted a load of oil from this industry here, and I would like to get some more from here. At the moment, Scott the Aussie is on... Uh, level 5. He's actually gone all the way up to level 5, which is pretty good. Um, however, he's importing everything. All oil that is used by Scott the Aussie is being imported, which is... Well, it's still spinning a profit. That's the thing. It is actually still turning a profit, despite the fact that everything is being imported. Which I'm taking as a really, really good sign, actually. That The main loss maker seems to be the bigger factories at the moment. I don't know if that's going to change as time goes on, but um, at the moment it seems pretty reasonable, I think. You know, we, we are able to do this. Um, I do actually have quite a number of additional names in the book, and I was wondering whether I should add them in. I'm going to put some of them in here. I'm going to try and start adding some of these names into Farming Simulator Let's Plays. Um, I'm hoping to find a mod that will allow me to add more names into the game or do something that will allow me to add them into the game. Maybe I could even have a go at making my own mod. Um, I, at the moment, I genuinely don't know quite how I'm going to do it, but I will be getting all of these names into the game as well as getting them up on my own website as well, which is another thing that's on my to-do list. I'm sure you can appreciate I've had a couple of extra bits and pieces to do in the last couple of weeks. So I've not actually gotten around to um, putting up very many. Um, so I do apologise for that, and I will come back to eventually getting some more stuff up onto the website and uh, elsewhere as well. So before we worry about any of that, we've got a large oil pump there, production rate 8,000 units a week. We've got a large oil drilling rig, which is 9,000, a drilling rig, did I say week? Uh, rig. Offshore drilling platform. Nice. Okay. Um, right, so this one here is the large oil pump. That one does 8,000 units a week. And then you've got the large oil drilling rig, which does 9,600. Freight account 8, uh, freight truck 8, and cost 20 grand, 80 a week. This one is only 48 a week. Cost 16, it's only, so the large oil pump is actually probably the best one. It's a little bit cheaper than the others. So I'm going to drop one of those in there, so that is going to get us a decent bit of oil coming out. And then I'm thinking that we don't overlap them too much, if we can help it. What, I, what I'm actually thinking is if I put one over that Warning. side, Experts predict an earthquake, earthquake incoming, and then I put another one over here like this, and I'm going to put them like that so that they are touching each other. But they're going each side of the road so that um, I'm sort of expanding out the amount that they're getting. At least that's the theory. Right, where is this earthquake? Let me get rid of that a minute. Don't panic and wait for help if you are in the affected area. Right, what has this earthquake affected? The earthquake has... Oh dear. Uh... Right, it's affected this... Wow, it's actually gone right through the water here as well. This is quite serious. I, I don't know what incoming... Whoa! Okay, uh, I apologise for the insane flashing right there. Right, I will hopefully go back and edit that bit out because I'm aware that could cause problems for um, more than just a few people. So I, th there was some really insane flashing just then. Um, I'm hoping that that uh, I will have actually gone and edited that bit out. I don't really know what happened there. I clicked on something and then it started really flashing crazily. 
Let's go to you and over to you like that. So we're joining that back in. We've got the power joined back in there. We've got a little bit of flood going along here, but it doesn't... I don't think that's going to affect anything. We will increase the speed back up again, and we'll also go to the water right here, and we'll just join that pipe back over, just in case there's anything on there. And... That's absolutely fine. There doesn't seem to be any lasting damage apart from this one. We've just got the post office there that needs to be rebuilt. And I don't think the post office was actually a problem anyway. I think it was just a... That one's collapsed. Why are buildings collapsing? I'm not quite sure why they're collapsing. But anyway, they are collapsing occasionally. We'll rebuild this fire tower right here. We have got, over in poor side, just about everything is now up and running. I've got a load of schools switched off, and some of the, um, like the, the main, actually no, I think I switched all the schools back on. I think most of the stuff now that's switched off is just the tourist destinations, the really expensive ones. we got 150,000 people who are making 40 grand a week. Things are improving drastically. Things are really improving drastically now. And this this is good. This is the sort of thing that we want. We're going to take you. Apparently we're not going to take you across here. Because you don't like the idea of going across there at all. You go to there. And then we'll drop you in there like that. So that you do connect up with power. We want you connected up so that you're a little bit of added redundancy in there. Let's now, we can ignore all of that now. We can go back over here. Oh, one thing I do want to do, I want to rebuild these and get these running again. Both of those. Rebuild and get them running again. So they should help with the trash situation up over here. And I also want to rebuild the cargo airport hub right here. So that we've got the train's able to come through here and use that one. I know it's quite expensive to run, but I think overall it does actually work. Now, what do you have? 2%. Train line 3, tra passengers 3 of 240. And then the station here, service 34 passengers. Yeah, I don't know how worth it that one really is, but, I mean, it does seem to be working. Now, we've got a slight issue over here with power supply. And, yeah, we'd kind of expect that. So I'm going to drop those in behind there like that. And I don't want to put... I want to put you there like that, I think. There we go. They've all now got power. So they're now supplying their own oil. Or well, there's going to be a lot more oil being supplied in here. These are just about empty. So they're not going to be really doing a great deal. We'll get rid of them all together fairly soon. And the rest of it, there's nothing for us to worry about at the moment over there. So we'll come back to that later. Then down here, we had another issue with trash down here. We're sort of building, yeah, sort of building up a little bit here. So I was considering putting an incinerator out over this side. And I, I figured that might help with them. We've got the odd building here that is not getting power. But overall, that's doing fairly well. As is the agricultural zone there. These are working okay. We're getting our clothing coming in. That's actually making. And then this one here operating normally. That's making as well. It's making a load of pastries. And they're bringing those unique factory products over here. At least I'm hoping they are. And then they're selling them down in here. We're going to leave this lot for a minute. We will start rebuilding that. Uh, but no, the, the one thing that we did want to do that we haven't done yet is... Uh, well, there, there's two other lots of industry. No, I want to leave... I want that one on. There, rebuilt. Uh, th there's two other lots of industry that we want to do. So, I rebuild that tower there. And I will also rebuild that tower there. Lots of people are happy with me rebuilding the towers. Then we've also got the international airport over here that I have not yet rebuilt. I haven't done anything to this one. And that one, we don't have goods to sell. I was going to leave this one for a minute because it's eight grand a week. Now, eight grand a week is not a small quantity, is it? That That is a, an, an awful lot. In here, we've got lots of raw sewage coming in and it's slowly filling up this lake again eventually that one will fill up we won't be doing that in 
uh, before we finish up the series this time. That's, that's just going to start filling up now and it'll be something that we get to at some point in the future. Down here, this one... Oh, this one's wrecked. Right. Rebuild that one and then put that up through there. That's going to allow people to come on through. And we'll also rebuild these and get those running. Actually, they're already rebuilt. We just want to get them running again. Get you running again and get you running again. So we've got a load more of those vehicles there. I did say that I'd try and do... <laughs> oh, wow. That is just... That is absolutely insane. Um... We got, we, we're going to try and do something here. I did say that I would try and do something here. This is the single worst junction that we've got in the entire game at the moment. Most traffic is coming straight through. So in order to be able to do that, we don't want traffic running up there. We're going to go with adjust roads and the grey avenue there. That's going to carry on down this way, right the way down here. Is that the same one? That is Thomas Road, Crowley Street, Madison Street, all the way through there. No, oh, Crowley Street is all the way down here. Uh, where do you go then? Brittany Avenue, Crowley. We'll take that one down to there. That one's going to go down to there, so that's going to be the main road that goes all the way through, and that is now going to become a priority road coming down through there. And then this one over here, we also want to find out where this one goes, and most of them are coming up that way. So Brittany Avenue, there. We kind of want that one to come up that way as well. So we will go to a junction here. I don't want a stop sign on there. I want that to just be free-flowing all the way through. Then we want to take the traffic lights off of here. So there's no stop sign on there, and there is on those. And I would say take a stop sign off of that one. Is that going to help the traffic flow a little more freely? Take a stop sign off of that one coming up. And I would guess so. Remove that. Remove that one. And remove that one. There. So just follow this road back this way a little bit. So that it should help things to flow a little more easily. Like that. So you can sort of put them over onto the priority roads. If we go here, we put stop signs along there as well. Like that. Put one up there. We've got all of these traffic lights here. Which I don't think are helping the situation. So we put that up through there. That's actually now flowing a little bit better. A little bit of a snarl up here in the middle. But seems to be doing okay. It's certainly moving more. Um, well. <laughs> oh, wow. It's actually... <laughs> Look at the queue that we have got on this. This is insane. Like, I knew it was bad. We've been ignoring it for ages. I knew it was bad, but I didn't realize it was this bad. That is just insane. Look at this. There we go. I'm trying to look at it so that you can see the traffic that we've got coming up through here. This is, this is just ludicrous. This is absolutely ludicrous. It really is. That is madness. How on earth are we supposed to deal seriously? Like, look at it. Look at that traffic coming up through there. That is absolutely insane. Hopefully we can do something about this. I mean, it does now actually seem to be moving more than it was. But we, we need something else to help with this, I think. What, what else can we do? I mean, I don't really want to... I don't want to bring another one in there. I'm just wondering if... 
Like, where's most most of this traffic is sort of running down here into the middle. Right, we've, we've got traffic running in here, and it's helping to dissipate it quite a bit. So we have, we have started to help the situation. We've also started to help the situation up through here as well. I know that there are a load of mods that I can get for helping the traffic. Actually, that's now starting to move a bit better. See, the, the, the traffic queue has shrunk a little bit. Only a little bit, but it has shrunk. It's moving there quite a lot. But it's all single file. I kind of want to tell them to not be in single file. You know, spread out a little bit. Come on, guys. Help yourselves. Help us to help you. That's what we want. Ignore that. Okay, I've done a little bit to help the traffic. That's I said I was going to do a little bit to help the traffic. I have done a little bit to help the traffic. So now we're going to come in here and we're going to start our next industrial zone, which is going to be some forestry. We want forest industry right in here. And, well, actually, first of all, I want an actual zone. So I need to go there to zone. And then I need to go residential. No, I need to go paint industry area. So I want an industry area here. We've got Phil Bannister. We've got Tyree. We've got Gooseman X. And we've got Dog Rocket. Now this is all. Well, we've got a load of ore over there. So that one, we're keeping that back for the ore area. And then down here, we've got the tail end of some oil over there. And this seems to be, like, the, the best sort of spot for forestry. It's, it's kind of out here and going into Phil Bannister and Tyree over there. So I'm going to paint this area down here, look. I'll paint some around here. And this is going to become a new zone right here. Sort of like this. There. I'll bring that out like that. There, sort of uh, uh, along the edges there. So I've now got a new zone. Let's get rid of that. And we've got the Belmont zone. At the moment, it's not got a specialization or anything else. I am just going to put a name in. And we've got... What have I used? I've used Scott the Aussie. Um, the last ones I used were Comp Techie up here. Um, Mafia X Phantom. We've got Daniel down there. Dever 2018 Industries. That one's been there a while, actually. And, uh, right, I think, actually, the newest one that I want to be adding in, we've got Scott the Aussie there, and then over this side with Rose Lou, James, Meredith Wyatt, uh, Scott Golden Eagle, James Collins... It's been a while since I've had to add a name in, so I'm I'm just having to make sure that I'm not repeating. Douglas Campbell, I think, is our next name. Do I have a Douglas Campbell here anywhere? Does anybody see Douglas Campbell? I don't think Douglas Campbell is on here yet. I think Douglas Campbell is going to be our newest... Oh, no, uh, sorry. Douglas Campbell is already there. He's right there above the Henry Ashworth Plantation. He's the um, agricultural zone right there. So he's already in. Uh, Brett Nelson is also in. I'm sure i just seen a Brett Nelson somewhere. You know what? I think I was imagining things. There does not appear to be a Brett Nelson. So this here is the Brett Nelson zone. We've got Brett... Uh, make sure I spell this right. It's double T. Brett Nelson. There you go. You now have your own zone. And there are a number of other names. I've got seven other names on my list that will be added into the game. Uh, just not in this particular playthrough because, uh, yeah, it's going to... I kind of figure like it's really short and I, I feel like I'm sort of messing you around. If You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to actually just take the time a minute to add all of you in. Right, I've added everybody else that is in the book of names. We've got Little Hungarian, we've got Joshua Doll, and then where's the rest of them? Uh, over here we've got Robert Girk, we've got Gorilla, Wi Gorilla Wizard Gaming, Miss Mucky Pup, Dave Davidson right in there. Down here we've got Bradley Tip Lady, and Matt Cedars I think was already in. We've got Brat uh, Brett Nelson down there. Is that everybody? I think I think we're getting close. Yeah, I said about uh, Little Hungarian and Joshua Doll over there. Um, that's all of them. Right, that is everybody that is now added. Everybody on the list is now in this playthrough. So I'm 
Sorry for those of you who've turned up right at the very end and that you're not going to get very much showtime here, but uh, you, you are in here at least. You're in here a little bit. So now what we want to do is Brett Nelson needs to become an actual specialization. So we need to build an industry area main building. So we want to go over to you, and this time we are looking at forestry. So we're going right there for forestry. We want to build a forestry extractor. We're going to ignore all of these buildings here for the most part, and we're just going to start plonking down extra bits. I don't know how to get rid of that bit. There's got to be a way to get rid of that one there. We can move it around. We can do that. Brett Nelson has reached level one. Congratulations to Brett Nelson. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't actually let me switch this one off. I can move it. Up there, so you're, you're kind of out the way, but um, let me switch it off. Right. We now have the sawmill, the small tree plantation, and the small log yard. Okay. Uh, in here, we've got the small tree plantation. Small tree can be used to cultivate alder, beech, or conifer. All extractor variations produce raw forest products. Extractor need to be placed on forest area inside the industry area. Okay. Then come over to here, and we've got the sawmill. This processing building requires raw forest products to produce forestry special good, planed timber. They don't, I believe, they, it, it's simplified. We don't have to worry about the different types of timber. Uh, much like the agricultural products, um, I got a little bit sort of caught up with that. It, it doesn't matter what products. They just got to pro produce agricultural products, and that's it. We don't need to worry about the rest of it. And then we've got a small log yard here, which is a storage yard for said timber. So I can bring the storage yard all the way over here. And then that's sort of closer to the main station and several other bits as well. It Oh, it does. It fits right in the middle in here. So I'm going to bring this one over here. Construction cost. I'm going to put that as close to the station as I can. Uh, no, I'm going to put it... I'm going to drop that one in there as close to the station as I can get it. And then we've got a sawmill here, and that one, again, I can put down in here, right in the middle of this area if I want to. Or I can put it sort of right up against there. I'm going to put one of those in there, and I'm going to come up this way, and I'm going to put one opposite the storage yard right there. So that's really close. And I'm going to put another one over here on that side as well. So we've got three of those and one storage yard right in the middle of all of this industry area so you down here not enough raw materials that's fine that is one of the sawmills there and that's the other sawmill and then we've got a storage yard right here balance for raw forest products that don't oh yeah that only takes raw forest products that doesn't actually take the planed timber from here actually that's the thing have we got another one to take the, the plane? Um, destroying raw forest. All right, okay. So it's, it's only that one that we can take at the moment. So if we have a look at the forestry main building in here, we've got plain timber coming out and raw forest products coming out. We've started importing a load of stuff. Uh, we haven't actually started producing our own timber yet. We've got, wait a minute, sawmill, sawmill. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Where's my other industry bit? I put, I, I put I plonked down several sawmills. I didn't put down any of these. We, we need to actually grow some timber. Growing some timber would probably be a good idea. Can I fit that in here? I think I can, actually. Yes, I can. Brilliant. I'll put one in there. And I'll also put one in there. So I've got three. Actually, I've got four of those. Four of those and two sawmills. Let's get another sawmill. Right there. That's uh, space occupied with something. I don't know what that's space occupied with. Oh, that's another sawmill. Okay. And then we go to here. So, yeah, we got a sawmill there. Not enough. We got lots of sawmills with not enough raw materials. So, next, in order to be able to have everything flowing easily, we need to go back to our traffic routes over here. 
And we want to have a look at junctions, uh, adjust roads. At the moment, the roads are running like that. And I don't want them to do that anymore. Actually, that one goes through there, but that's, I'm going to turn that to be a priority road that will run up that way. So that's going to get us a direct link between the station and our area down here, which is what I want. So then we're going to go to junctions, and I'm going to do that. We're going to put a stop sign on that side only and then i'm going to go here and stop signs there we go stop signs all the way through so that we have priority going straight up to the station up this way uh take that stop sign off of there i'm hoping this is going to help so they're going to be running in and out of there i know that they're going to be running in and out of there and traffic is going to be a little bit busy in there but I'm hoping that this is going to help. Yes, it's going to slow it down on that side. And it's going to slow all of these junctions down a little bit. But that's, that's not the, the, the main point here. What we want is this. So we've got raw forest products in there. And then that's not got enough. We've got a little bit of raw forest product there. Coming into planed timber as well. So at the moment, obviously this is not going to be particularly efficient to start with, is it? Never is. We're losing 890, but we're now starting to produce some of our own stuff, and we've just about reached level 2. Have we reached level 2? Level... Did it not give us a little ding-a-ling when it came up with um, level 2? We're not on level 2. We're on level 1. Yeah, we're, we're still on level 1. Right. I want you to go to level 2. Workers until next level 200. Produce resource, resource units until next level 71 out of 500. Oh, we're level 1. We're moving up to level 2. I see. Right. So, at the moment, we're doing all right. It's going to take us a little while to get there, but we've got a good start. So, there's the start of that industry. And then I also want to come over here and I want to start the ore industry as well. Uh, so I want to go, no, I don't want to go to you. I want to go to you right there. And I want to go to industry here. And there is a big old chunk of ore that I want, which is that bit right there. So I'm going to fill all of that in. And then I'm going to just bring that up like that. Um... Sort of square that off there. So we've got the Valley region. We've got the Bradley Tip Lady um, area over here, which I'm going to connect in. I want to connect into there. So that's going to give us access to the station over here. And I may put another loop in around so that we've got another station accessible by this region over here. Um, now, what I'm thinking is the Bradley Tip Lady district over here doesn't really do a great deal. I cut off the tail end of Phil Bannister there. So I'm thinking that Bradley Tip Lady, as you're over here, we'll also name this the Bradley Tip Lady. Uh, no, we won't. We'll call this. This one's going to be Robert Girk over here. I'm going to put that one in there. Um... Do that like that, I think, for now. And then we can... Because I've got that name right there. I don't want to have like the names sort of one on top of the other. So Robert Girk does, very luckily for him, get two different zones. And I'm going to need now to put some roads around this one. So where does it get... Well, it comes out quite a long way. Okay, so we're going to go... We'll go into the roads and... Let's start... Well, see... Four lane is not very useful. Six lane is actually quite a useful type of road. Uh, I'm going to go with that six lane road there. And we'll keep that on straight roads as well. I'm going to go sort of like that. And ideally I'd like to do this. So we want to go sort of from that point right there. About there over to here I think. And then up this way. Kind of like that. And there, 90 degrees out. 
Right, well, I'll do it all the way up there like that, and then this one here can... Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I didn't actually mean to do that. We will remove this last piece here and all of that. I don't know if this is a night... I'm assuming that's a 90 degree angle, but I don't know if it is. So I'll remove it anyway. And then we'll go back on here and we'll just make sure that is indeed a 90 degree cutout. Um, if I go like that, I overlap it slightly like that. And then I'll come in here and do the join straight up like that. And then delete the tail end off of this side. Just to make sure that it does join in properly. So we've got six lane roads around the outside of Robert Girk right there. And if I go back and have a look... That's mostly where the ore industry is. We don't have any out here, so I'm going to cut that back in a little bit. We go back over to our roads, and really we want to cut that into about there, so it's on the edge of this district. Drop that down to there, and then I need to modify it again. I'm gonna remove the bridge, and then I go to you bring you up to there and then I bring you up to this point right slope too steep at the moment but what I can do is I can remove that which I'm going to be removing anyway and then I can take you and oh if I do that it's going to try and cut right through the hill okay it's slope too steep all the way down through there this surprises me let's try it again still slope how steep is this exactly? Okay, well, now now I'm starting to understand why it is sloped too steep. We can get to there. But we cannot get... Oh. All right, well, we'll just have to do it like that. Because that's the only way that we're going to join up. So, we got this. It's not quite square. We've got a, a, a funny tail end on it there. But then we can remove that bit of road over there. So, there's Robert Girk, the new zone right there. And we're going to get a six-lane road here. We're going to join this one in. We've got a connection over here that we want, plus we want to be able to join into there. I don't really want to join it into that bit, but I don't think we've got much choice. It's also not going to allow us to join it into that bit, so we're going to have to come straight out of here, I think, in order to be able to do this properly. So we'll do it like that, and then we will join that one straight into there. So that is... There is one connection on there, and it will come on round there, but we don't want it to come on round there. So in order to also facilitate a connection into that one, we'll do a straight line across there. So we've got two of them here. They can choose which one they want to use. And down here, then, we want to set some priorities on the roads. We want to choose where the roads have got to be. So at the moment, we've got... I want to get rid of the road altogether. Then I want to go into here like this and adjust road. So we've got that one there. That's a priority road that comes down this way. We don't want that to be a priority road anymore. Uh, actually, it's not a priority road. It's just a road. So it's just a road that comes through. And then I've got this road here that goes... That's the same avenue that goes all the way up. And what I'm actually thinking is it would be better if this one didn't go up that way. I'm thinking it would be better if this one instead went not up that way, but instead came over this way and went that way instead and went to there. Like that. So you've got Lee Avenue. Bring Lee Avenue along a little bit more. Like that. Now, can I make that go further? Right, so then I've got Lee Avenue there. And then this one here is the Audrey Crowley Boulevard, which I want to bring down. Actually, I've got Lee Avenue going that way. Maybe I ought to have... Actually, yeah, I think, I think really I want to put... I do want to put this one through here like this. The Audrey Crowley one is going to go that way. And then Lee Avenue is going to come up here. But this one here is going to be the priority road. And then that's a different one. So then, right, it's, what it's, it's on the junctions down here, look. Okay, we put that through there like that. And that's a stop sign on there. And then these aren't stop signs. And then down this way, we've got no stop sign from that direction. 
and you won't have a stop sign and I don't want anything on that one either so that should be f free flowing that will be stop signs there I'm hoping that's going to do it I'm hoping that's going to keep everything flowing freely so we've got over this way um, it's going to be ore industry in there before I start on that, I'm going to build out a new railway as well. I want to bring the rail out this way, and I want to put a railway station in over here. Uh, I will quite possibly, we could put a passenger station out there. We're up to 170,000 people, and 50,000 a week is coming in, which I figure is pretty phenomenal. That's pretty sensational. I can cope with that. We've got zero products in there although raw products coming in is pretty good we go to our main industry area info over here we've got 300 we're importing roughly half of the stuff that we're producing so i'm going to go over to here and i'm going to scroll down through and we're going to take that one and i'm going to put you there and i'm going to that one so i'm going to fit it will fit. It doesn't look like it wants to fit. Oh, yeah, it will. Put that one as well. And then I could put another one there on that end. Another one of those. So I've got a whole load of forestry areas that are all sort of looking out onto this bit here. And we got a small tree plantation. I got beach in there. I got alder in there. I got alder in there. I got beach in there. Beach, alder, and conifer. Well, we've we got all of them represented. We've got a bit of a fire going on. The fire has been dealt with. So there's a load more of them now being produced. This one is... It, it takes a little while, but it does put them out eventually. It, it does pump out the, the stuff that we need. Uh, industry area, we've got 354 out of 500. It's going to take a minute or two to get that established. Um, so now all I want to do is get the station sorted out. Now, this, this is the next bit. Do I do a passenger station? I don't think I want a passenger station over here. I think that is just going to add extra misery to everybody involved so we will avoid having a passenger station but what we will do is we'll go over all the way over to here and we we'll go to transport and we'll go to trains which is that one and then we will take this and we will bring a train off of there a track off of there it's going to drop down and that's going to go underground right there and then that underground line is going to go all the way over to here. Like that. And then it's going to come back up onto the surface right there. Okay, so there's there's one. And it'll do that. It'll come out there and it'll go back up onto the surface and it'll go to here. Uh, the other one that I want is going to go from that point there and... It's going to go to there, and then it's going to go underground like that. And this one is going to come over here. I'm just wondering how I should do this. Whether I should have it running straight through, or whether I should just have a loop on the station, and then it can go back out whichever way it wants. So they come in, they loop round, they go back out. I'm thinking a loop on the station. That's going to that's gonna be the simplest way to do this, I think. A straight loop on there. Because then they can go back out whichever way they want to. Why have you come up onto the surface? I hate it when it does that. I don't know why it does this. This is not something that should happen. Right? It should not come up onto the surface. And then drop back down again. So you need to be down below. And you're going to come over this way. And you're going to turn slightly, and then you're going to go... Look, see, as soon as I go to do that, it tries to bring it up to the surface again. It's no longer up to the surface. This is good. You can drop that down just like that. You are all underground exactly where you should be. You're up there. You're coming around that way. And then you come over to that point right there. And then we can put a station in and... 
we'll bring that we'll, we'll bring this one back up onto the surface and we'll bring our station in. We're going to drop the station down here. We've got a cargo train terminal. And that one is going to drop down there like that. And then I will take the track. Which is going to now go on the freeform track. And we're going to bring that one out like that. And it's going to go round. Into there. Like that. And join in onto that one. And then it's going to come out from this side. And it's going to go round like that. And then it's going to go underground and it's going to join back in over there look see it tries to come up again it tries to come up onto the surface as soon as you do this it tries to come up onto the surface so that's got to go underground there and then it's got to join into the track under there like that right so now if I have a look we've got a train track that they can, they can come in and they can go round the track and then they can come back out and they can go I there we go that's what I wanted we have now got a biomass pellet plant we've got a furniture factory we've got sawdust storage forestry worker barracks small tree sapling field we will deal with all of those bits in our next episode we've got a new train over here I'm gonna have to put water out onto this water out onto this as well and our uh, at the moment everything is going up Right, we've got our numbers going up. This is episode 98. I said we'll do around 100. I want to get these two industry areas up and running. Once I've got them established, we will do our final episode. We're switching off the unlimited money mod and just see how well our city does for the final episode. So it's not going to be exactly 100. It will be more than 100. We'll see how well we get on with tomorrow's episode with establishing our two industry areas over here. The rest of the city is doing pretty well. We may just go round next and just switch everything back on again at the beginning of the next episode. Just do a quick rebuild and switch on like this. Um, except for things like that. I mean, seriously, four grand a week? That is a little bit pricey, but uh, rebuilding a whole load of these different items should make a significant difference. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.